Hey guys, I'm back for an Instant Pot video and today I'm going to be making Greek potatoes in the Instant Pot. If you've ever made Greek potatoes before in the oven, you know it can take hours to make proper Greek potatoes. So I'm gonna give it a go in the Instant Pot. I'll leave a link below to the recipe I'm using to kind of follow and guide myself through um, and I'm just adapting it to the Instant Pot. So hopefully this works out so we can cut at least an hour off of um, the time it takes to make Greek potatoes. Here are the ingredients. We're gonna be using three russet potatoes. Once I get them cut up, I will see, maybe we'll add a fourth one in because these aren't that large. So three or four russet potatoes, depending on the size. We're gonna need a cup of broth, half a cup of olive oil, and the seasonings here are paprika, oregano, and then salt and pepper um, as desired. And then I have two lemons and a garlic clove. So that is all you need for this recipe. So I'm gonna wash the potatoes and peel them and cut them into one and a half inch or so chunks. So I cut them into wedges. That's what I actually prefer to them instead of chunks. So this is what they look like and I'm gonna add them to the Instant Pot. Okay, so that's what they all look like and now we're gonna make the sauce for it. I'm gonna add one cup of broth, half a cup of olive oil, And now I'm going to squeeze my oranges. I just have this little hand squeezer, which is perfect. How's it going, babe? Done. Can I help you? I can't. You're doing great. I got it in. Mm-hmm. Open it. Not yet, we gotta do all the lemons. So my two lemons came out to just shy of a half a cup. Um, the recipe calls for a quarter cup of lemon juice, but we prefer very lemony Greek potatoes, so I am totally fine with that. All right, Maya, you can dump in the lemon juice into the bowl. <laughs> we don't need those right now, honey. Dump the lemon juice in, please. Nice work. Okay, now on to the seasoning. So we want one crushed garlic clove. And then a half a teaspoon of paprika and a half a teaspoon of oregano. Half a teaspoon of paprika. You can dump it. Don't put it the spoon in though, just dump it. There you go. And now we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of oregano. Okay, soup in. Just add pepper to taste. Okay, so we're gonna mix it well and then pour it over the potatoes. Can you mix it up? Very good work. I'm gonna put the seal around the Instant Pot lid. Okay, we have the lid on, we set it to sealing. I'm going to do manual and set it for eight minutes. All right, let's hope this turns out. Okay, so the timer went off. I am going to leave the valve for about 10 minutes. Um, after 10 minutes, I'm going to release whatever pressure is left so that if you're new to Instant Pot, that's called natural release. So I'm going to naturally let some of the pressure out. And after the timer here says 10 minutes, I'll um, release any additional pressure. So you're going to use all these tools to get it out. Oh, that looks delicious. Thank You're gonna you so try much. to get those tools. Okay, I need to open the instant pot right now, otherwise it's gonna get wrecked. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes past. The pressure has all the way released, so we can open it up. And there they are. They look great. Can I see? Yes. What I'm gonna do now is transfer them over to this pan and broil them just for a couple minutes. Um, 
to get some color on them and a little bit of crispness. They're pretty soft, so you have to be really careful with this part. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's been broiling for a couple minutes. They're definitely too soft. They fell apart when I was taking them out. So I would say probably five minutes in an Instant Pot and then natural release for five to 10 would be fine, especially since we're broiling them. Uh, I would leave them in for a couple minutes longer, but my kids are starving. So we're gonna serve this up and eat. Okay, so here is dinner. The Greek potatoes are actually really good. Again, a little less time, but the lemon really absorbed into it compared to when I bake them. I actually prefer the flavor. We're also having a cheeseburger and zucchini that I just cut up and cooked on the stove top for a couple minutes. And here is my girl's plates. What do you think, girly? Good. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you wanna see more recipes from me, and just more content for me, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Bye guys.